Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Target SBI. From today onwards, we are going to start 5 mixed arithmetic questions. First question, an article is sold at a loss of 9.09%. Okay, 9.09% means 1 by 11. Here, loss means 10 by 11. This 11 is CP, means cost price, 10 is selling price. Okay. Another at sold at a profit of 12.5%. 12.5% is nothing but 1 by 8. Profit of 12.5%. So profit means 9 by 8. This is cost price. This is selling price. Okay. If the cost price of both the articles is same, let's take a cost price. CP is equals to 110. Then selling price for the first one is if it is 110 then selling price will be 100 okay in other case also the cp is same 110 cost selling price will be 110 cp into 9 by 8 which will be 990 divided by 8 8 1 times 8 8 2 times 16 30 means 8 3 times 24 6 means uh, 7 times 56 and 4 times 5 times okay 123.75 is the selling price of this one now the question asked is the difference between the other selling prices this one and this one difference will be 23.75 which is 570 then find the cost price of the article here cost price will be 110 so we need to find the 110 value here totally x equals to this comes this side this comes this side this comes down 570 into 110 divided by 23 we write 0.75 as 3 by 4 so 570 into 110 divided by 4 3 times 12 4 2 times 8 9 plus 3 92 plus 3 will be 95 divided by 4 comes in the numerator 19 30 times 19 5 times 5 6 times so 6 4 times is 24 and into 110 which will be uh, 2640 this is the answer. Option A is our answer. Next, second question. 15 men working 12 hours a day can complete your work in 20 days. In how many days 12 boys can complete the same work working 10 hours a day? Okay. 15 men complete your work in 12 hours. Working for 20 days. Completed a job okay in how many days boys all boys can complete the same work working 10 hours a day in how many days okay we need to find x given that the efficiency of the boys boys is twice that of men means boys pay men's will be 2 by 1 so boys will be in the place of boys we can place two in the place of men we can place one according to this so 10 2 times 20 12 and 12 cancel so we left with 15 so answer will be 15 x equals to 15 so answer will be 15 option b next third question the average number of 12 numbers is 56 and 11 numbers is 28 and the last two numbers is 30 find the average of all the 25 12 plus 7 will be 23 23 plus 2 25 okay the average means 12 total will be 12 into 56 plus 11 into 28 plus 2 into 30 fold divided by 25 what asked the average average is equal to total by total number of 
okay 12 6 times 72 12 5 times 60 67 this will be 8 3 0 3 0 8 this will be 60 we have 10 14 1 0 4 0 divided by 25 we can write 25 as 100 divided by 4 this 4 comes in the numerator so 4 into 104 will be 4160 divided by 100 which means 41.6 is the answer option a is our answer next fourth question ragini and divya invested a total 13 one three five double zero together okay the ratio of the profits of both are ragini and divya profit ratio is 36 and 45 profit is nothing but investment into time period so Rajini invested for six months six months and divya invested for 15 months we don't know investment let's take it as x this is y so 6 6 times 15 3 times 3 2 times so what we left is x y equals to 2 by 1 this is what we have and it is said that rajini and divya x and y are investments both are together invested 13500 x plus y equals to 13500 total is three parts so this is three parts uh, he asked for find the amount invested by rajini rajini invested x part so x which is nothing but two parts three parts value is this one one part value will be four five double zero we need to find two parts value two parts value will be nine thousand so answer will be nine thousand option b Now we are going to see question number 5. The length and breadth of a rectangle are in the ratio of 5 is to 3. Length is 5, breadth is 3. Ratios. Find the area of the square whose side is 2 more than the breadth. Breadth is 2 more than 3. 3x. Okay. This is which is nothing but a square side. Um, given the perimeter of the rectangle, 2 into L plus B is nothing but 32. So 2, 16 times. L plus B is equal to 16. 5 plus 3, 8x. Value 16. So x value will be 2. x value is 2 means this is 5, 2 times 10. This is 3, 2 times 6. So our side area of side of the square will be 6 plus 2, which will be 8. A value will be 8. We need to find the area of the square area of the square is a square which is 64 answer is 64 option b